that ceiling is unbelievable. This is magnificent. And this is all original as well. Nothing has moved. Yeah, it looks way more destroyed than when I first explored this place. This is kind of why I decided to come back to redeem myself. In today's episode, my friends and I decided to explore an abandoned mansion that we had heard so much about. The mansion had been built in the 17th century and had belonged to a wealthy family from Portugal. We heard stories about how the family had so much wealth that they never had to go to work a day in their life. As we approached the mansion, we were struck by its grandeur. The architecture had been preserved for the ages and we couldn't help but feel a sense of awe as we stepped inside and the highlight of the tour was the ceiling in one of the rooms, which looked like it was straight out of a Harry Potter movie. Nobody even knows the architecture who created the magnificent piece of art. We learned that the mansion had been recently bought in 2020 by someone who had plans to turn it into a bed and breakfast with a salon. Unfortunately, the dream was short-lived as licensing issues forced the owner to cancel their plans. As of right now, the mansion is being used as an art exhibit and had garnered attention due to its beauty. After we had explored the mansion, we decided to go and see an abandoned airplane that had been converted into a restaurant in the year 2000. The owner had a dream of creating a unique attraction where people could come and enjoy the experience of dining inside an airplane. However, the town's residents didn't share the same enthusiasm and legal battles ensued. In 2014, the case was won by those who believed that the airplane was an obstruction and the owner had to shut down his restaurant. The place had been abandoned since with no future plans in sight. All right, guys, so we just made it to this mansion. Now we got permission from Catcher Urbex. You want to check her out. Her link will be down in the description below. And this place is absolutely incredible. It dates back to the early 17th century. One of the oldest places I've ever explored here in Italy. Now, from the outside, it looks like your typical home, but from the inside, I promise you, it's a very magical place. Now, before we start our adventure, guys, get your popcorn ready and make sure to smash the like button. Let's head inside. So we're gonna be seeing a few things that kind of looks like a tour. Over here, they have some photos of abandoned places around the area, and I've actually been to a few of them. I've been to this place. And I've also been here. And apparently these are all close by, especially this one. This looks really cool. But I don't think we have time to see them all. Unfortunately, we have more locations that are heading more towards Rome. Yeah, everything here is original, which is great. They preserved the decay in here. I mean, they cleaned it up a little bit, but you can see, you know, some things are just rotting <laughs> like the walls and the paint and the ceiling which i really like how they did that over here too are all original stuff that were in this magnificent home look at this tapestry here i also think this has the family's name on it ave maria it's a cute little home It's this room. Not much in here. I'm guessing this room could have been a room for praying. Looks like it's now a storage room. This room is the moment we've all been waiting for. Take a look at this magnificent room. That ceiling is unbelievable. Probably the most beautiful ceiling I've ever seen in Italy. And that says a lot. 
It looks so magical. What do you guys think? Everything that's original here, including this chandelier, has a very unique style to it. Now this room was very special. This was the living room area, and it looks so crazy because they want to show off their wealth. They would invite very important people, high political figures, businessmen, to come here and talk to them, and this is where they would meet. So, you know, you want to kind of show off that you're wealthy and one of them, you have something crazy like this, I guess. But a lot of the paintings that you're seeing on the ceiling are different areas here in Italy, such as Rome, Nepal, Europa is what they told me. If you happen to recognize any of these places, leave a comment down below. The style of this is definitely Spanish. A beautiful dressing table. Very vintage. Love the carvings on it. We found the sewing kit. Of course, you know, so many Italians, especially women, knew how to sew. It's a skill that everyone once knew. You gotta appreciate the wallpaper here. I love the design. And we got this beautiful wardrobe. The woodwork is also quite amazing. Now enough showing you guys what's in this room. Let's pay attention to the artwork this place has. So it seems like the design has been painted onto the ceiling. But I love it. It's such a great piece of art and everything is different in the design wherever you look. Whoever made this probably made it for a purpose. I'm sure everything here that we're seeing has a meaning to it. There's the original fireplace. I bet you there used to be a cauldron here too. You can see the little scoops hang on the corners. Yeah, the frame of the fireplace is totally gone too. Must have been even more beautiful with it. Over here we still have the wine glasses and kitchen utensils. All original. And over here, there's a mirror that was definitely on top of the fireplace at one point, I'm sure. But yeah, we have the name of this home right there, Villa Marez, dedicated to the last owner of the place. The door is kind of a mess right now. I don't even think it closes. You gotta tie it with a rope. I were to own this place, I would definitely keep the room as it is. It's just remarkable. And honestly, the decay in it makes it look so cool. This is definitely the highlight of this home. And when I first saw this, it grabbed my attention immediately to want to come here. Want to go check this place out, go to the link down in the description and contact Catcher Urbex for more information. This place needs 100% permission. Guess we should start heading upstairs. Wow, this is a beautiful stairway. Now 
Now the owner love decorations such as these hanging on the wall. There's a lot of them here. And over here, we have something very important framed. Now this is basically showing us the family that used to live here from generation to generation. And Let's see where this little door lives. I'm pretty much taller than it. Okay. Looks like it's going to some sort of cellar. Okay, upstairs were the bedrooms. I reckon we start over here. Oh, we got some of the original plates here as well in this closet. This was Maris's bedroom. She would stay here. I guess these are some of her things, but look at these toys. They look very old and vintage. She was a very religious woman. As you can see, there's a lot of pictures and paintings of Christianity. And she actually never married. And I believe she passed away as a virgin. It's crazy that they never had to work. And these things right here actually belong to the owner right now. Originally, she bought this place because she wanted to make a bed and breakfast and a salon. So you got these modern chairs because of that. But eventually that idea failed because Italy is so strict for people starting a business and they had to shut her down and she had to close the place. Now she has no use for this mansion and that's why she wants to sell it. But for right now, she's hosting these galleries and photo events and other things as well. We got this old TV. Looks very portable with the handle on top. I wonder if this goes anywhere too. Yeah, it's locked. Looks like we're entering another bedroom. Love the ceiling. Now, Maris never stayed here just because it wasn't convenient for her. This bedroom was for guests. This is magnificent. And this is all original as well. Nothing has moved from its original place. You can tell it still has the abandoned feeling. The furniture's kind of rotting away. The bed still has a little bit of stains. And over here is a fireplace. I love how they kept it like that. Bed looks super comfy. I just found a picture of the Last Supper. Anyway, this room is quite unique. I've never seen anything like it before. You know, I've seen dome structures on a ceiling, but this one has like indents all around the corners. It looks like a Damas chair, probably from the 19th century. And we have this dressing table with a nice marble counter on it. Love the wallpaper on it. It's kind of chipping away. There's some cracks. Okay, let's check out the next bedroom around the corner here. It has a different color. This one's tinier, but it's still pretty cute. Here's some of the original wallpaper. A really nice floral design. Oh, look, we have a picture of her dog. Oh, it's a poodle. Looks so cute. The ceiling in this room is really beautiful as well. Has a dome shape to it. Okay, we're making our way around. I 
Here's another bedroom. Looks like the bed lost its mattress. I like how every room so far was different. This antique little clock. Probably had his own alarm too. It's the one you see in the cartoons. Is that like a hidden door right there in the corner? I think it is. You know, I bet this place has all kinds of secrets. I think this bed frame is here for a reason to kind of block it off. It's also completely locked. Don't think we can get in here. Wow, this is the last room on this floor. It's really big. This should have been used for the master bedroom. It has so much space in it. And I bet you the ceiling also used to look lovely. It was now all chipping away and decaying. Oh, look at this nice, cute stone fireplace. There's some notes right here. This was her journal. And look at these old photos frames. Yeah, they're pictures of this home. This was actually found in the attic. We're not sure what it could be, but kind of looks like something that you would see in the graveyard. Like this might be a tombstone. It has her name right there, Mars Giuseppe. And it dates back to 1874. Here's another one too that they found. Why would it be in the home? Unless they got buried in here. That would make things a lot more creepy. Looks like we have some books that she read. I think that's it. It looks like there used to be a closet right here, built into the wall. Yeah, it's completely empty. Looks like it could have had really nice wallpaper. I think that's it, guys. Look at these old irons. And here's an ironing board. We just made it here with my boy Radic. We got Dave, a band world explorer. We're just walking up to the plains now. Yeah, it looks way more destroyed than when I first explored this place roughly three years ago. And there's the plane, at least one of them. Someone did graffiti all over it. I don't think it was like that before. These so are the booths and the stalls where you buy your ticket. Anyway, the video is not even on my channel anymore. I took it down because I wasn't proud of it. So this is kind of why I decided to come back to redeem myself. Let's take a walk around first before we enter some of the planes. Oh, they had like a pool here. Or maybe th this is where they would do like some water shows. Yeah, there's also a helicopter. I think this was the gift shop that they had. And look, you can see some sculptures right here. Everything's inspired by Leonardo da Vinci. So this could be one of his pieces of artwork. It's a nice, beautiful day. Yesterday was raining hard.
completely empty. Oh, I guess they would have the bathroom here too. Looks like there's graffiti everywhere and almost every window has been smashed to pieces. Here's the sign for the restaurant. But they would also serve food in the plane. It even says what type of plane it is right there. A TU-134A. Yeah, the restaurant's been locked up. You can't even enter it. Here's the seating area. Gosh, I just love seeing the planes. This is another entrance way. We were just inside there. Kedalingod. I have no clue what that means. Oh, someone's using this for storing wood. A lot of it. Okay, I think it's time we head inside and check out the planes. Last time I was here, there was like a beehive. I explored this during the summer. The plants were swarmed with bees when I was here. Hard to imagine if bees are around here during the winter. Anyway, we got Dave. He's been here before. He blew this place up. That's why there's so many graffiti. Your video went viral, man. It wasn't me, dude. Look what you did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, just playing. This place has been like this for years. Yeah, you were like one of the very first to explore this place, Dave. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, tw yeah. in 2019. We, my video is so short because of the, um, this place was all the alarms went off. Right, you couldn't step in these places. Oh, right, yeah. Now the alarms are off and then we can just walk around. We own it, huh? Looks like they took the chairs out. There used to be chairs here. Like the seats and everything. That's a shame. It's still pretty cool though. It's literally a shell of an actual plane. I found the cockpit. Yep. Looks like a lot of it has been scrapped up. We don't even have the controls anymore. With the steering wheel, whatever you call it. The buttons are still here though, in perfect condition. Can we switch it on? Yeah, they actually work. This right here was a kitchen. This is also where they would serve food. And I bet they cooked a lot of pizza in here. Look at this oven. Such a cool idea to create a restaurant out of airplanes just to give people a chance to know how it feels like to be in a plane. Because you know, some people don't have that privilege. You go on a plane too often. Let's check out this plane. Oh no. They took the seats out of this too. It's really empty. Let's go check out this cockpit. Yeah, the handles have been taken out of here too. I think this plane was the best one out of the two. But not anymore, both of them. It's kind of a shell of its former self. Even back when I first did it. Pretty nice view from up here. Made it to this building right here. And this was like a museum that showed 
Leonardo da Vinci's paintings. It's a room I missed. Let's go find a way in. We just made it inside the building. Oh, there's so much furniture in here. This must have been such a beautiful place at one point in time. Wow. It doesn't even feel like this was like a museum or a restaurant. It actually feels like the real thing. Now supposedly there's some statues here, but I don't see any. Yeah. Like there's so much junk that they put in here to distract explorers from taking photos. You can't really even get a good shot anymore. Imagine what it looked like before up here. Those are probably stage lights. This is amazing. What's up here too? Hmm. I feel like there's like a little bar area where you can grab drinks. It's a nice little mural. Wow, they actually use some sort of shiny gold paint on it. There's a shine that it gives. Hmm, this looks like a confession booth. Thinking over here, they made it designed like a church. Yeah, you can see the organs. Oh, I can just imagine the lights shining, music blasting, people having a good time downstairs right here. As I was done exploring the airplanes and made my way to the next destination, I reflected on our day's events. I was grateful for the opportunity to explore these abandoned locations and learn about their unique histories. However, I also felt a sense of sadness at the dreams of the mansion's recent owner and the airplane turned restaurant owner had not been realized. I hope that one day someone will be able to bring these unique places back to life and share their beauty with the world. All right, everyone, thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. If you did, definitely smash the like button and subscribe and hit the notification button bell. I'll be dropping videos as good as this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this combo video today. Two videos into one vid. This was such a short explore. I think it went well to integrate it with abandoned mansion exploration. And let me know if you want to see more of that on my channel. I've done it a few times already and you guys seem to enjoy it a lot. We have a long drive ahead of us. Be sure to check out the gang, Radic, Dave, Abandoned World Explorer. We still have about maybe a week and a half to go. This is gonna be the longest Italy trip I've ever done, but we're gonna be exploring some amazing locations such as this. So be sure to be on the lookout. So be sure to be on the lookout every Wednesday and Saturday. All right, Rowan FM, I love you all. Peace and thanks for watching.